As Salesforce Code Builder is now generally available, let me show you how to enable this in your org. So first of all, you need to go to Setup, and then in the Quick Find menu, you need to search for Code Builder. Here you can see you've got your Enable Code Builder option, which is set to not enabled by default, but I'm going to enable that here and accept the product terms. And once that's done, I'm going to install the package and install for admins only, uh, grant access. And now it will go through the usual process of installing the managed package. Once you've received your email to say that the application is installed, if you go to the app launcher, you will be able to find the new code builder dashboard. And here it tells you everything you need to know about Code Builder and gives you the option to launch as well. And on the first instance of you opening it, it will take a while to load the application. So now the Code Builder has finished loading, we can take a look at the different options that we've got available. So we've got all of our menu options down the side of Explorer, Search, Source Control, Run and Debug. Extensions is something that I think we need to pay particular attention to as we now have Einstein for Developers available as part of Code Builder. So now we can utilize this within Code Builder and we don't have to use it just in VS Code. And we've also got our testing option, the actual Code Builder itself, our org browser, and org differences, along with our accounts and manage settings at the bottom.